Asperger is a very complex disease, and it's also not a very common one. My research is on how genes turn on and off and actually stay that way in different disease states. And so this is really important for scleroderma because we know that uh, in this disease, some of the immune cells, they react against your own body, they make the skin get very thick. And so really interested in finding out at the, really, the most basic level how the DNA might be different and why those some genes that control the immune system and the cells in the, the skin uh, basically uh, turn, are turned on for the wrong reason. The research that we're doing uh, is sometimes very rewarding because we sometimes can really show a direct connection uh, and potentially help of patients. Uh, a few years ago, as an example, we discovered that a class of drugs that was not previously used to treat scleroderma because of our molecular studies were nominated and then used uh, in this disease. And in, a, in some patients, it really had a dramatic effect. The SRF introduced my team and myself uh, to really to the community investigators working on scleroderma. And they really created kind of the network to share basic information about patients, patient materials, ongoing studies so we can actually all work together. And that is why it's especially important that, um, that we work together as teams with investigators across the country to collect patient samples. But it's also very important that people support uh, research uh, by either contributing to the, the foundation or participating in research. I'm, I'm really optimistic about uh, you know, the prospect for scleroderma because uh, I would say in the last five to 10 years, there's really been an increasing pace of understanding of, of kind of about the disease, the different uh, subtypes, and also some of the potential causes of this disease. And so um, I'm hopeful that maybe in, you know, in the five-year time frame, that many of these ideas will start moving into actual um, therapies.